Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Okay. This one is a collaborative series. And it's by Alesmith Brewing Company and Stone Brewing Company. And it's called dual exposure it's a double india pale ale with hibiscus and citrus uh it's got some literature there but um i'll tell you what it has in there we brewed this super easy drinking double india pale ale featuring hibiscus as well as orange and lime peel the beer is light in body and packed with tropical citrus and fruity notes from huge amounts of citra strata HBC 592 and Amarillo. When our two brewers join forces, your palate can't avoid the dual exposure to flavor. And uh, I've never seen this before. Of course, it's collab. Um, brewed and canned by L. Smith Brewing Company, San Diego, California. So um, I picked this up at Total Wine and More for uh, oh, it was like 14 bucks for um, four pints. You see that? All the glare going on. I do like L. Smith, man, and Stone too. They both make pretty awesome beers. Get this glare off here. Right, let's see if you can see it better now. Okay. Get a crack open. Well, let's see here. Is there a date? This should be fresh because it just came in. Yeah. This thing is like um, not even two weeks old. All right. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. That's a weird color. Interesting. Hmm. Hibiscus. Probably is what's making it do that. I don't even know what hibiscus is. Alright, there we go. Let's see if we can get some more of it in there. I'm assuming it's some kind of fruit. Alright, well we have monster, foamy, frothy head. And kind of a weird color here, um, kind of like a pinkish uh, color or a ruby kind of it's hard to kind of tell what color that is let's get the light here we have a really uh, interesting color we got here let me kill this puppy all right yeah, it's an interesting kind of rubyish or kind of a, I don't know, like a red, pinkish red ruby color. Uh, clear. Yeah, interesting looking though, huh? Yep, pretty different looking, that's for sure. Very different looking. Sorry about that. Let's set this down real quick. There we go. Get some light over there. Well, the head's uh, gone a little bit rocky there. Let's get a aroma test. Hmm, that's very different.
whatever uh wow that smells good like whatever that hibiscus is i think i'm picking that up for sure i'm getting like a lot of piney notes and floral notes and some kind of fruity notes kind of like some kind of sweet maybe like a grapes or something kind of smells pretty darn good Yeah, it smells hoppy, like um, kind of piney and floral, and a little bit kind of fruity. It smells really good. I want to get a hit. Cheers. Mmm, that's very tasty. Very tasty. I like it. Different. Okay. Very tasty. I like it. Uh, what a twist on an IPA. Mmm. Damn. I didn't even see the ABVs on this. Uh, well, kind of skipped that part. That's important. Let's see here. What do we got? A double so it comes in at 8.2 percent alcohol by volume so um, that is very good because it goes down super it's really easy to drink um, no raw alcohol notes no booziness nothing like that really tasty it's got a medium mouthfeel mm, taste follows the aroma yeah I'm not sure uh, that hibiscus is, I'm not exactly sure what that is. I've heard of it before, but I don't know what it is. This is tasty. I'm enjoying this. Mm. Mm. It's like you'd have the piney kind of hops and some floral kind of hops, and then you, whatever that hibiscus is, you drop some of that in there. And this is pretty much what you got. It tastes really good. I like it. Mm, got pretty good malt backbone too. Really easy to drink for 8.2%. Wow. You would not even be able to tell. The IBUs are not that high, I don't think. Very interesting beer, I must say. Mm, good. Well, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um... I mean, there's no other way I can explain it, so we'll swill it one more time. We'll wrap it up. Pretty good head retention, too. Cheers. Yeah, it's like a, it's almost like a grape kind of, or almost like an apple, like a red apple kind of. Really nice. Good. I like it. Wow, this, this one would get you in trouble because it goes down so easy. Yeah, that's good. That's tasty. So um, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm, I'm going to give this puppy like a 4.2. It's pretty damn good. Pretty damn tasty. It's really different too than what I, anything I've ever had actually. So there you go. That's my uh, 4.2 is my story. I'm going to stick with that. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Give this puppy a horns up. Cheers. Mm, good stuff. All right, y'all have an awesome morning, evening, and uh, we'll catch you later. See ya.